Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. This is a place you should visit, not only for its history and beauty, which come by the bucket load, but because entering Savannah is an instant distressor. I myself just returned from an eight-day trip to Savannah, and I can say with certainty that this southern city should definitely be on your must-visit list. Take our lead. Savannah, Georgia is considered to be the most haunted place in Georgia, which, the city doesn't show up on any dangerous places lists. This old city has a ton of history within its limits, which also means that there are quite a few haunted tales to go with point two eight June 2020. Make your mark, take our lead. The best time to visit Savannah is from March to July when warm temperatures coax the tree leaves and azalea blooms out of hibernation. A cache of festivals also fill this high season, though because the weather is ideal, hotel rates may be on the pricey side. Let's help you make your mark. Both Savannah and Charleston are coastal cities, so both have nearby barrier islands with beaches that are a short drive away. Savannah has Tybee Island while Charleston has Folly Beach, Sullivan's Island, and Isle of Palms. For the abundance of beaches alone, Charleston wins in this category. Point one seven January 2020. Take our lead. About 150 miles. The distance between Savannah, Georgia, and Charleston, South Carolina is small enough that there are many ways to get between the two cities. The two cities are only about 150 miles away from the other, as the crow flies point 6 August 2019. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.